Disclaimer. This video's information is being provided for informational, educational, and general interest purposes only. The information in this video is not intended to shock, enrage, or otherwise provoke the viewer. The sole purpose of this video was to raise awareness of true crime-related events. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976, allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. After the beep, please say your first and last name. Hello, do you want to sell me? Thank you. You have 40 cents. This call will cost 21 cents per minute, plus any applicable federal, state, and local taxes. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. You may hear silence during the acceptance of your call. Please continue to hold. Hello, this is a free call from an inmate at Medina County Jail. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. To accept this free call, press 1. To refuse this free call, press 2. If you would like, thank you for using Securus. You may start the conversation now. You have one minute left. I didn't know I had 40 Hello. seconds. That's why I'm going to tell you I love you, gorgeous. I love you, too. It just said we had one minute, and I didn't know I had 40 cents, or I would have been called you. But I love you, Patrick. I just love you, too. I'm always thinking of you, okay? No, I love you, too. Me and you forever? I love you, always and forever. I got another uh, letter envelope drawn out with me and you. It says, Chris loves Larissa forever, and I want that tattoo on me as well. No, so okay. I found two of them that are going to cover me to uh, plus my kids with. So I love you, okay? I love you too. I love you too, buddy. That's Tati. I love you too, Tati. Daddy said he loves you too. Everybody says they love him, is she? Thank you for using yes, security. Love you. Goodbye. After the beep, please say your first. And last name. Brian Smith. Thank you. You have 30 cents. This call will cost 21 cents per minute. Plus any applicable federal, state, and local taxes. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. You may hear silence during the acceptance of your call. Please continue to hold. Hello, this is a free call from Brian Smith. Pick up the phone. An inmate at Medina County Jail. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. To accept this free call, press 1. To refuse this free call, press 2. If you would like to permanently block your number from receiving calls from this facility, thank you for using Securus. You may start the conversation now. You have one minute left. Hi, sexy. Hey. I love you. I love you too. I'm over here at the Monday, I mean the Wednesday thing. That's why it's so loud. The Wednesday thing? Yeah, the dinner. Oh. The dinner. Oh, so sorry. I'm... The... No, that's okay. Well, I only had a minute. My buddy only had 30 cents. So I just want to tell you I love you. Okay, I love you too. That's the curtain. That's what's up. I miss you guys. I love you, and you guys be safe, okay? We will. We're going to be heading out here in a minute. Okay, thank you. Love you. I love you. You're not mad I chirp you all the time? No, I love you. I love you. I love you, too.
I miss you. Thank you for using it. I love you. Goodbye. After the beep, please say your first and last name. I love you, my gorgeous soulmate. Thank you. You have $10.78. This call will cost $0.21 cents per minute, plus any applicable federal, state, and local taxes. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. You may hear silence during the acceptance of your call. Please continue to hold. Hello, this is a free call from... I love you, my sexy soulmate. An inmate at... Medina County Jail. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. To accept this free call, press 1. To refuse this free call, press 2. If you would like to permanently block your number from receiving... Thank you for using Securus. You may start the conversation now. Good morning, beautiful. Good morning. You okay? Mm -hmm. No, you're not. What's wrong? No, I'm just up. Made the kids go through. Huh? Made, made just got done making the kids go through. Expect to come yet? No, I got the front door wide open so they can't sit there and do what they did last year. So what's wrong? They're trying to tell me somebody knocked on the damn door. <laughs> And ain't nobody answering. How'd you sleep? Huh? How'd you sleep? I didn't go to bed till almost about 2 o'clock in the morning. By the time I got up, I said, oh shit, what time is it? I saw the deep light outside. I thought it was like already 8 something. So why'd you go to bed so late? Huh? Because I had to finish my touching up. I didn't even shampoo the carpet. Well, I know, but you said you all you had to do was to do a uh, kitchen floor. No, I had to finish sweeping. I had to sweep all the way from up by the upstairs, all the way down, and then I had to do the playroom. I had to sweep in there because I wasn't shampooing it. I can't get the blood, and I wasn't trying to grab the shot back. And have to keep bending. My back was already hurting. And then the fucking broom broke on me. Even smaller than what it was. So buy your broom today. You can't get the damn vacuum to work. If the damn broom breaks. I told you the vacuum needs the belt. Huh? I do we have any do we have extra books? No, I used the last one. I thought we did. No, remember I took it out of the other I took the belt out of the red vacuum to put it in there because we didn't have no more belts. I love you. I love you too. So you're done with me? Ain't nobody done with you. Please don't start that today. I'm not starting. I'm just asking you. If I was done, I wouldn't even still be here. I hate when you say shit like that. Like, right, because, uh, how, I mean, if, if I was done with you, do you think I would pick up your phone call? I've seen crazy if shit happen. Yeah. I don't know what the hell you say. You don't know what? Well, I don't know what you thought. Ah, uh -uh. kitchen cereal now. Sit down. Well, I'm gonna cancel my uh, coffee money tomorrow, so I can have a couple of dollars to call you. Huh? I said I'm gonna cancel my coffee order tomorrow, so we can have a couple of dollars to talk. At the beginning of this call, we had 10 savages something. <sighs> I sent a letter out this morning, and you'll probably think it was a bad letter, but I don't. You know, there was the first page that was, you know, I was mad and in my feelings after we hung up last night, but 
the other three or four pages is me. No, so it's one of those ways. No, it's not all that bad. Like I said, you'll probably think it's bad, but it's just me pouring my heart out to you. I hurt my feelings when you sat there and said it was jail talk. And what else, I mean, come on. You said this said you're going to be a trans man and this trans man, but look how, look at the argument. Look, look how you talk. Well, That's not different than what, we, we, what we, you were doing when you were at home. Really? So how is that, how, so you go and tell me, how is it being a trans man? Well, then you tell me how you a changed woman. You're sitting there telling your man that I'm here. I didn't tell you. I didn't tell you I was a changed woman. Unlike you, you said it in letters. You said it by the mouth. Is this how this morning is going to go, man? Because it has to take two of us to change, not just one of us. Me, personally, I think you're talking to somebody else. That's how I feel. Yeah, that's how I feel. Because you know what? Why come to me? At, 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 I mean, we were perfectly fine. No arguments over the phone. No nothing. Seventy dollars went by so fucking fast, and now all of a sudden you've been arguing with me for what? I, I don't. Well, um, hello. You don't. I think, me, honestly, in my heart, oh I feel my just God. somebody. I think you got somebody else. I think you got somebody else. That's what you say. I don't know that. I'm not gonna sit here and listen to you screaming at me. So you know what? I don't know that. The other bitch, because you know what? I can't take this shit no more. Ain't nobody talking really to no one else, but your guilty yeah. conscience obviously yeah. shows that you are. So that's why my money on your book went so damn fast, right? Yeah, arguing with you, dumbass. Yeah. No. No. Yeah. And I'll be getting yeah. not that much book no more. Because don't put nothing there. That yeah, that's what I told you in the letter. Don't put nothing. You're I don't right. want nothing from you. You're right. I won't. And then you yeah. know what? When you get out, you can get your shit and get out then. Because no, you know I'm what? I'm right. Don't worry about me no more. Have your new man You're take right. care of you and the kids. Uh-huh. I don't Have need nobody. Man take, I can't I'm tell. I've been by myself for a whole entire month now. Then why are you and bitching about it? Why are you stuff. bitching about it then? You've been doing it before me, right? Now all of a sudden you're crybaby about it? Oh, crybaby? Yeah. You won't even see your kids. Okay, Kathy. Uh-huh. Okay, Kathy. Yep. Okay, Kathy. Anything else you want to say, uh, dumbass bitch? Yeah, okay, you dumbass bitch. Don't call yep. me no more bitch. Good. Bye. After the beat, please say your first and last name. Hello, my gorgeous family. Thank you. You have two dollars and fifty-three cents. This call will cost twenty-one cents per minute, plus any applicable federal, state, and local taxes. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. You may hear silence during the acceptance of your call. Please continue to hold. Hello, this is a free call from... I love you, my sexy soulmate. An inmate at... Medina County Jail. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. To accept this free call, press 1. To refuse this free call, press Thank you for using Securus. You may start the conversation now. I love you, my gorgeous soulmate. Love you, too. What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? Giving the little ones a laugh. Give me a sandwich. Man, you were always a pleasure, Lisa. Always in service. Promise. Um. I'm sorry for stressing you. Huh? I said I'm sorry for stressing you. Sorry for what? I'm sorry for stressing you. Uh, it's not only that kids are getting to me. We had 259 before this call, so I just wanted to try to tell you I love you. And I don't want you stressed out all day. And I already know that you get money, you put money on the books, but I'm going to save the rest of this for later tonight, okay? Hello? What did you hear? I can barely hear it because it's, it's on you, like, 
you sound like you're listening. No. I'm just not trying to yell. I mean, I'm talking normal. I said, I love you. And we had 259 at the beginning of this call. So I'm going to save the rest for later tonight. Okay. Okay. Stop writing on yourself thinking like you're going to give yourself some tattoos. Who was that? Tati, they're all shit. That's the fuck I'm, I'm not wasting life. Y'all gonna be jumping your ass in the back. Well, I love you. I told you if uh, you wanna go get money, I know you'll put some on the book for me to call you later. But if not, I'm gonna save the rest of this for later tonight. Mm-hmm. Then you don't have to put money on the book. It's up to you. Yeah. You don't have to if you don't want to. It's up to you, beautiful. I just don't want you and the kids struggling, that's all. I love you. I love you. Mm -hmm. No kiss back? I did. I blew it. I'll talk to you later. I love you. Try to have a good day. Yeah, trying. Come on, boy. There ain't no day camp in here, or fucking vacation in here, trust me. But I love you, and I'll talk to you later tonight. I love you. If you get any money and you put some on the books, I'll check you in a little bit. I'll call you down today, too. All right. I love you, my sexy son, lady. Always remember that. I'm sorry, I'm not your son, lady, no more. You're my son, lady. Well, you haven't been saying it, mean ass. You're always my son, lady. I love you, I'll talk to you later. I love you, too. But I'm a beautiful son, lady. That's what you can do. After the beep, please say your first and last name. I love you, my sexy soulmate. Thank you. You have ten dollars. This call will cost three dollars and eleven cents for the first minute and thirty-six cents for each additional minute, plus any applicable federal, state, and local taxes. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. If your call is not connected, you will be offered the option to leave a voicemail. You may hear silence during the acceptance of your call. Please continue to hold. Hello, this is a free call from... I love my sexy soulmate. An inmate at... Medina County Jail. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. To accept this free call, press 1. To refuse this free call, press 2. If you would like to permanently block your number from receiving calls from this facility, press Thank you for using Securus. You may start the conversation now. I love Hello? my gorgeous wife. I love you too. Did you get it? Yes, ma'am. Thank you, baby. It, it did not let me put, it, I wanted to put 40 on it, but did not let me put it. Mm-hmm. But then when I tried the 35, it let me put it. I don't know why it did it, did it like that. That's fine, yeah. Jackie, because uh, it took the 788 that I owed him for the energy kit, like I told you. Uh-huh. And it left me with like $27 or some change. So okay. I just bought two $5 phone cards right now. Okay. So I'm trying to, what, I'm, what I want to do is talk to you for like maybe five minutes if you can keep an eye on your timer. And then we'll hang up, and then whatever I have left on this $10 phone card, I'm going to use for later tonight. Because so I still got like 16 left on my uh, account, and I was going to use them for tomorrow and for the next day, you know what I mean? Okay. But it's cheaper. It says it's $3.11 to connect the phone call, and then it's $0.21 cents a minute uh, after that. Yeah. So it's, it's still a lot cheaper than doing it the way you were, you know, having to do it before. Right, $15 uh, every 15 minutes? Yeah, right, right. You know what I mean? That was ridiculous. I love you, gorgeous. I love you too, sexy. I sent your letter out this morning and I got you surprised in it. Did you? Yeah. Um, I, spoke to, 
I text Tina. Tina text me back. Nah. Oh, uh-huh. what happened? Um, he wants him to write down this number. I mean, she wants him to write down this number. This is her second line for him because the bro- I guess the brother said he she already tried and the brother is not going to do it. Okay, the brother said he's if not going to do it. And pen, if you've got paper and pen, to write down this number that you're going to give them. Does it have an out-of-state area code? Yeah, 724. Now, see, that's what I want you to do. Exactly that. And then it only costs 21 cents a minute, babe. Okay, write this number down, bud. It's 724. 624. 624. 93. 93. 30. She said, I guess, that's now, her that's second the line. She said, that's your wife told my wife to give to you. That's your out-of-state number. Right. That's her second line that I guess she was going to be the one to put money on for him this week, but the brother said no. She was going to do All right, say it one more time. I'm sorry, beautiful. The brother, she had already asked his, his brother, and his brother already said no. That uh, your brother, and your brother already said no to it. But that's why she gave the second line for him, so that way she could put money on his books this week. That's why she said for uh, my wife to make sure you get this number, because that's the second number. Yes. And then she's going to somehow, some way, put money on his books this week. See, he's doing what I was doing, babe. Fine. He said, thank you very much. Tell him no problem. What? No problem. God bless you. Okay. I love you. Love you too. I just bought pizza because I didn't feel like cooking. <laughs> That's my baby. <laughs> um, I didn't feel like going to save a lot neither. Um, <laughs> if you want, if you want, have Mama look up them apps that I told you. Okay, beautiful. And okay. Get an out of state number like you just got for him from his girl, or you can even ask his girl. Talk, call, and talk to his girl, and ask what app she used. So that way, when I call you back with the rest of his money, it's only twenty-one cents a minute. Beautiful. There is no connection. Yeah, okay. There's no nothing. To me, that's a bunch of runaround. It's a bunch of runaround just to do all this. I know, baby. I know. But this is the only way we get to cheat the system. You know what I mean? Because this way, instead of paying $3.11 to connect it, it's only $0.21 cents a connection fee, plus $0.21 cents a minute after that. Yeah. Put it in her sipping cup. Baby, you got a pen and paper on you. I want one more favor. Remember I was telling you my buddy Matt and Spook were the ones looking out with the food in that? Yeah. This is my buddy Spook. If you could take this number down and shoot a text, please. I uh, really appreciate it, baby. What's the number? 216-640-5054. Okay. Five zero five four. Uh, two one yeah. six six four zero five zero five four. Six two zero five zero five four. Six four. Oh, six four zero. Five zero five four. All right. Well, he just said, can you text that number and tell them that Spook said, what is the out of town number? He needs the out of town number. Spook like needs out of town number. Buddy Matt. Huh? Okay, he needs the out-of-town number? Yes. Remember how you just got Matt, that out-of-town number from his girl? Okay. My buddy Spook needs the same thing from his girl. Okay. This is his girl, so that way when I text, like when I relate the message? Right. Just be like, hey, my husband's locked up with your man Spook. Right. That's basically what I did. Right. Yeah, exactly. Thank you, beautiful. I love you. I love you, too. And these are the only two I would have you do it for. Because, like I said, they're the only ones that ever looked out for me since I've been in here. Right. Like tonight, me and Matt saved some of our dinner. We got a little spread to make for dinner for us, you know what I mean? And we saved some of our dinner trays, and he got a soup for us. And Spook just hooked me up with some Kool-Aid. Like, they're the only ones that look out for me, you know what I mean? Right, so you got to look out for the ones that look out for you. Yep, that's exactly what I told everybody in the pod. I'm going to look out for those who look out for me. Who was that? Who was that? Like always. 
tell him when I get home, he's got a rude old <laughs> Boo boo. When daddy gets home, boy, your ass is mine. Do you understand me? Well, oh, Mimi said I will. <laughs> <laughs> she said I will. So, you tell me a diamond that daddy go to kick her the kick angel's booty. She said, hey, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mama, Daddy loves you, baby girl. Mama, Daddy, Daddy loves, loves you. Baba, Daddy loves you. Yeah, Happy, Daddy, Daddy, Daddy loves you. Love you, Daddy. I love you too, buddy. You gotta be a good boy. Remember what Daddy said. Till I get home, you're the man of the house. You're in charge of Boo Boo. You hear me? Yes, sir. All right. If Boo Boo's being bad. You're the big brother. Whoop this fucking ass. Boo Boo just heard you tell her, tell Bubba that he said, uh huh. Yeah, huh? Bubba smacked him upside his head. Daddy's not playing. Babe, let me tell you what this boy did. We were all uh, asleep, right? Because I brought everybody downstairs. It is cold up there, and I just figured everybody, you know, be on that the second floor. Yeah, when so, I get home, I'll make it warm. Look, we're sleeping. This one, and I got up to get, a, you know, my drink of pop. I go to look. My top is gone. Uh-huh. I got up. And I went towards Boo right, in the boys' room. Boo yeah. had the whole two liter, reminding me, and Ma only had a cup of that pop before we went to sleep. Wow. So he, he had the two liter of uh, the Mountain Holler. Yeah. It was open with my coffee creamer. <laughs> and he put the coffee creamer inside of the pop. Tell me doing too much. I'm going to bust his little ass when I get home. I ain't playing. His ass is mine. This boy is doing a lot more than what you think. Oh, I know. Oh, trust me. I know, beautiful. I know. I can only imagine. But trust me. I know. And when I get home, that's going to be, he's going to be my little project. I'm going to make sure by, by Thanksgiving time, he's going to be yes, sir, no, sir, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am. He's going to be walking a different tune. I guarantee you that. Yeah, and he's smiling. That's okay, because wait till I get home and bite his little middle finger. Just like butt butt flicked me off with his little middle finger, wait till I get boo-boo. You wait, wait, boo-boo, and I hope you hear daddy. Your ass is crying, boy. He's smiling. Yeah, he's going to be smiling. He's he going to be crying when I'm done with him. Dad, who said you're still going to miss Christmas? Right, he's talking about dad's going to miss Christmas. Smack him upside his head, because I'm coming home this Thursday. Fuck right, that. that's what we told him. You only got a couple, not even a couple days. No, two days to wake up. I said, Bubba missed Christmas. No, no, your ass is mine when I get home. You hear me, little boy? Daddy's gonna bust your little four-year-old ass. He went running away from the phone. Mm-hmm. Over there doing too much, getting into everything, cussing people out like he grown. He ain't four years old. Oh, yeah, the little boy threw a book, I mean, not a book, he threw a toy at me at the library. Or went to the library. Yeah. He smacked me, and then Bubba said, don't hit mom. Oh, yeah, he's off the hook. Oh, yeah, he's he going to be off the hook when I get home. Trust me. No, you're going to be on that red button. Yeah. <laughs> oh, tell, 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 tell him I said he's going to keep it up. And he gonna he gonna forget about Christmas because I ain't gonna get him nothing. I'm gonna tell Santa. I already told him. I told him that I was gonna tell Santa he getting he getting charcoal. He getting coal. He ain't even get that. He ain't gonna get nothing. Nothing. He gonna watch everybody else open up toys. He thinks it's funny. That's okay because he thinks he runs shit. That's his problem. That's his problem. I'm gonna let him know when I get home who the king is. That's me. Who the queen is? That's you. He ain't nowhere in the pecking order. He's so damn bold. The pecking order. He shouldn't even be thinking this. He's listening to you. He's just smiling. No, it's okay, boo boo. Wait. Just wait, boy. You, go. you know how when daddy comes home from work, your ass goes running? It's going to be the same thing, boy, because when daddy walks to that door, you're going to be running. But there ain't going to be nowhere your little ass can hide. Hmm. How's the kitty doing? They're doing good. Mama and him been cleaning out the kitty box? Yeah. Okay. Um, has Scotty been trying to get a hold of you or anything? Nope, not ever since good. that day I think you I contacted him. Good, leave him alone. Don't hit him up no more because I got some I have him when I get I out. I haven't. I said, I said what I had to say and that was it. 
And uh, has Presley hit you up? Because remember, Presley was going to Las Vegas this past weekend. No, I haven't heard from him since that one that one time that I told you I hit him up, but he did say that he's got that job for you when you get out. Okay, because, hold on, Papa, because uh, I know what they're going to do. My lawyer's going to want to contact Presley and, be, you know, call him and make sure himself. He wants to verify, just like the bond officer did with Chris and Hannah. Right. You know what right. I mean? So if you can, shoot him a little text and let him know. I'm, I'm going to bring the card with me. So before yes. the sentencing, I show the uh, lawyer. Yes, yes. Because that's what I told him I was going to do. I told Percy I was going to give his information to the lawyer so that way if the lawyer has to contact him about, you know, working, at least, you know, he can contact him. Okay. Man, I almost bought a cheeseburger a minute ago, and I was like, nope, I'm going to talk to Babe. Because <laughs> they got cheeseburgers, fries, and something else for five ninety nine, and I was like, nah, fuck that. I've got to talk to my wife. Well, we bought pizza that was 30 bucks. Then I sat there because we paid the 14 15 whatever that was at the beginning. Right. So I still got, like, I want to say at least a few bucks up on the card. Back in now, babe. He's not listening. Move. Now. Where's your phone? You're Come on, Mariana. You need the phone. Now. Come on, Mariana. I said whoop his butt now. Mar, then I said get him now. Tell her, tell her I want my clubbing. I want my heavy hand. He said he wants your heavy hand up on him. <laughs> There's my big girl smile. <laughs> this is what he is. He's been acting like this. Boy, don't listen for nothing. He thinks he demands and runs and tells you what what he wants done. That's because I'm not there. You know what I mean? I know he still does it when I'm home, but he thinks when I'm not there, he's the man of the house. He does it worse. He does yeah. it worse. Yep. Okay, I got something for his little ass. It's all right. You got cigarettes and everything, right? They're beautiful. Yeah, and guess what? I didn't even have to buy a pack of cigarettes. These pa- a pack of cigarettes has been lasting me for three days. You had the same ones that we got from before? I just finished that today. Oh, I love you. And sir. then, then... Well, I got a pack of the Red Newports because Mariana and Bubba were playing... When we went to the library, and Bubba kicked the box. And when he kicked the box, it was, I said, it sounded like it was full, and it was a full pack of cigarettes. And there was only one minute. It just said we have one minute, so I'm going to call you about 9.45, right before our 10 o'clock lockdown, okay? Okay. And these right. are the only two cards you have? No, I can, I'm going to go buy two more now. You know what I mean? At least buy oh. one for the night. I didn't buy them all because then they would waste it all at one phone call. Right. Right. So I got sixteen dollars left on there. I'm gonna buy one more for tonight and save the other two for tomorrow. Yes. And if you got like five or ten dollars you wanna throw back on there, you know, that's up to you, beautiful. I love you and thank you for everything. I love you too. I love you, my soulmate. I wanna marry you. That will happen. I love you. Promise? I promise. I love you, Mama, Mimi, Tati, Boo Boo, Bubba. Be good for Mommy. Tati's not here. Thank you for using security. Love you. Goodbye. After the beep, please say United States. United States. I love you, gorgeous. Thank you. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. If your call is not connected, you will be offered the option to leave a voicemail. You may hear silence during the acceptance of your call. Please continue to hold. Hello, please hold while we attempt to connect your call. We are attempting to receive acceptance information from your called party. This may take up to two minutes. Please continue to hold. We are attempting to receive acceptance information from your called party. This may take up to two minutes. Please continue to hold. We are attempting to receive acceptance information from your called party. This may take up to two minutes. 
please continue to hold. We are attempting to receive acceptance information from your called party. This may take up to two minutes. Please continue to hold. We are attempting to receive acceptance information from your called party. This may take up to two minutes. Please continue to hold. We are attempting to receive acceptance information from your call. Telecommunication services provided by Securus Technologies. For more information on products and services, visit www.securistech.net. Calls are subject to recording and may be monitored. You may start your conversation now. Hello. I love you, gorgeous. I love you, too. I don't feel relieved. I know nothing wrong. Oh, shit. You seriously thought something was wrong? Hell yeah. You said at 9, so I said, okay, give me time to knock out the bath, and then I get to talk to you. <laughs> I know, but when I called, it was like 9.15, and I was like, okay, well, they never had not answered the phone. Oh, I didn't think it was 9.15. I asked Mara what time it was. She said it was 8.67. No, it was nice. And then I even said, Mama, if this is you, get Mommy in the phone. <laughs> oh, I don't think she got that one. Oh, uh, yeah, you know, I was... Uh, Did you get one that dad said, Mar, if you got the phone, give, uh, give it to Mom? No, she didn't get that one. Sometimes it might even be too long to put in the um, in the thingy. Yeah, I know, but the uh, reason why I know it got said... It's because it lets you it lets me say what I gotta say and then it cuts me off right when I like when I when it when it cuts me off it says thank you. you know? oh, excuse me, no. What? Turn it back. What? No. This one over here, because uh they just delivered our Chinese food. And this one over here is getting into my egg rolls. It don't matter. If they want one, they can split one. Oh, so y'all just sell each dinner? Yeah, because they fucking forgot about our orders. Uh-oh. We had to just call up there and be like, uh, hello, our uh, order. Did they give you half price or what? No. Okay, it's the same thing. Don't start with me. Right, she just smacked him. I can't stand him. He's getting on my last nerve. Oh, trust me. He's getting on mine. He's been getting on mine. Then I was going to call you earlier before 9 o'clock, but they had called church. So I was like, fuck it, let's go to church. Get they time to get everything done, you know. And So I went to church and had to you know, talk a little message. and. So I was like, all right, I'm call Bates. It was 9 o'clock. Well, it was 8.50 when we got back to the five church. And uh -huh. know, I, I sat and talked to a couple of dudes, and when I looked at the time, it was 9. So I was like, well, all right, thanks. You know, around this time, I know me and Bates get back, so it's going to be done. So I waited until about 9.15, and then I started getting paranoid because I was like, fuck, if the fight breaks out over in the jail somewhere else, you know, you right. might oh, you get locked out for the night. So I was like, fuck that, let me call Bates. That's how I know it was about 9.15. And then my buddy Matt found out his mom, his grandma's in the hospital. We're giving him a 12 hour furlough to go to the hospital in Akron to go see his grandma. They ain't looking for him. They're taking him up there? Yep. They're letting him out of jail. Like a 12 hour get out of jail street card. No sheriffs, no nothing. And he gets to go to Akron. Really? Yes, it's called a furlough. So they're trusting him and he has to come back. Yes, if he don't, they hit him with escape charges. Wow. If he comes back and he has a dirty piss, they hit him with escape charges. Mm. Right. Right. That's what I told him. I said, buddy, you can't fuck up. He was like, Rodriguez, I promise I'm coming back. I said, don't do fucking no drugs for a lesson, dude. They, they drugs. Right. He's like, I know, I know. 
I just want to go see my grandma, have a chance to hug and kiss my girl. I'm like, I know, bro, but you know, I understand temptation. You know what I mean? Is that the one chick that was, um... Tina? That, was that, yeah, Tina? Yeah, that, that's his, you know, wife. That's the same dude I'm talking about. Yeah, because I didn't hear from her all day. I texted her what y'all, what, you know, what you guys told me to, but I didn't hear nothing from her. Well, that's okay. I mean, you're doing everything you can. And like you said, he said, I really appreciate it, bro. Some people I sit there and ask to do it with their wife, but, you know, they say they do, but never do. He was like, but your wife is the only one. My wife said it's hit her up. I was like, well, tell me how me and my wife are. They say we're going to do something. Come have a hot water. We make sure we get it done. You know, that's just the way we are. Yeah. Um, I text Carol to see what time I got to be with Hello? Yeah, I'm here, baby. She said she's going to be here at the house at 7. She said no later than 7.30. So I told her I was going to be ready. Did Maddie come there? No. She has, I, I haven't heard from her all day. Wow. Haven't heard from her all day. Well, then she better not hit you up tomorrow because I'm going to dog the fuck out of her. Hmm. For real. And that, that's bullshit. Like, you know what I mean? The, the one time you want to you know, put some money in her pocket, this and that, and fuck right. that. I'm tired of people. Remember, she made, she made me miss the other appointment. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So. And uh, I found out why they weren't allowed. You weren't allowed to put that much money on my account. Why? All the machines in the state of Ohio are fucked up on the uh, uh, mark the secure shit. Mhm. You know that uh, phone number I told you to call so you can put money on my my kiosk shit. Yeah. They stopped all the kiosks uh, uh, for the day or two because it's all fucked up across Ohio. I bet because I was I was looking at that too, and you know you can pay your child support through there too. No, I didn't know that, bro. Yeah, you. I was looking because if, even if you got court tickets, you could even pay your court ticket through there. You just got to go to the one selection, you know, where it says the courts. Right. And then I seen the other one. It had. Uh, I'll show you. It says it has a uh, child support. You know, some other stuff. Wow. That you could even pay pay your stuff to. Okay. But it was like it froze when I when you know when I went on there and it just kept getting stuck and didn't show nothing. Well, see, they have one here in the front of the jail. Okay, like right when you first walk in, the same door. If I go home tomorrow, it'll be the same door I walk out of. Okay. But the lazy people put money on that kiosk, but now we're not our life. You get that uh, okay. And this is what I'm telling you. You, you know you're happy. I know what I know what machine you talk about because they got one down at the justice center. Yes. Right when you go in the line, you know, like when you go for visitation, they yes. got a machine. A little it looks like an ATM. Yeah, exactly. They got it right there, right there by the locker that you know, that you gotta put your stuff in before you go visit. Same they thing. got it right there. Same thing. Thanks, I'll set up everything here. And this is what I'm telling you, okay? I mean, I'm asking you, I'm not telling you. If, for some odd reason, I mean, I, I feel that in my heart I'm going home to. I, I feel the same thing my wife does. But you know what I say, nothing in this world is guaranteed, not even my next breath. And with me saying that, if, for some odd reason, she does give me fucking jail time tomorrow, is there any way you can convince Carcar to take you up here to the jail so you can put money on my Kia on the Kia that way for me? I won't be able to be able to order commissary, but I'll be able to order phone time. You You'll understand? be able to order what? Phone time. The phone cards. Uh huh. If I don't, you know, go home tomorrow. That's Mama. If car car lets you come up here, to get you up here to the jail, and you put money on my on the kiosk machine, like you know, at downtown, I'll be able to buy phone cards with it, but not commissary. Yeah, I'll yeah. be able to. I'll be able to stick the card in there. Yes, yes, and you'll be able to transfer however much you want to put on my books. So that way, when I get back to the uh, when I you know call you and you say, hey, baby, or I could just check it. You know, I'll just check it. You know, if I see the money on there, I'll buy the car and call you. That way it's cheaper, you know what I mean? 
Instead of but you know what? I, I figured that that shit happened just like it happened last time when you was in Florida. That shit happened for a reason. They didn't want me to put money on it because they knew you was coming home. <laughs> I love you. That's how that's what that's how I see it. Like it's no point of putting no more money on it unless you know, but you're coming home. So that's my way of I think of it like that. I talked to well, I, I didn't get a chance to tell you everything with my lawyer, but uh, we didn't talk, and he was like, what's up? And I was like, you tell me. My life's a winner. What's up? And he was like, well, and then he pulled off the table. He said, well, she violated you, not because of the fifth time. And I was like, okay, I, I thought that's what it's for. He said, no, who told you that? I said, she did. He said, no, no, no. She violated you because you didn't come up here for an appointment. I said, that's a lie, Mr. Barbera. He said, do you have any type of proof? I said, yeah. I said, what does it say in the report? He said, well, it says that you were supposed to record on the 8th. I said, no, sir. I said, I have a card, you know, her card in my uh, property bag. She wrote it out there that I have to call her on October 11th. Right, but I remember that day that you called her. She didn't even answer. You left her a voicemail, Thank and you. she never called you back. Thank you, beautiful. And I told him. Because I was right there with you. Right. And he said, well, did you have proof? I said, yes, I do. It's in my uh, property bag. He said, well, I have another inmate, you know, another client to talk to. He said, is there any way you can get it up to me now? And I'm like, fuck, they're going to make me, you know, fill a tight out. I might not be able to today. Well, I asked Sergeant Patton, the one that let me get the phone call to call, call mm-hmm. you. I said, Sarge, I said, please. I said, it's the last favor I need. I need a favor. He said, what's up, Robert? And she will never give me a problem. What's up? I said, sir. I have a card in my property, in my wallet. There's two cards. Both of them say Kylie Brown, the bond officer. He said, yeah, I know who she is. I said, I need the one that has the dates written on the back. He said, all right, well, where's your lawyer? I said, in the first visiting room. He said, okay, I'll be right back. Maybe came back, opened the door, and he showed me the card. He flipped it over. He said, this one? I said, yes, sir. He said, okay, cool. He walked over to Mrs. Barbera. Mrs. Barbera, you know, he was talking to the other dude, but I stuck my head in. And he was like, hey, and he gave me thumbs up. He was like, don't worry about it. Because he told me before I got him the car, he said, if you bring me the car, what I'm going to do is go to the uh, courthouse and talk to Miss Kimball. And I was like, okay. He said, if I can't talk to her today, I will be there at 8 o'clock in the morning, tomorrow morning, and I will talk to her in the morning. He said, because that's why you're violated. You got violated for not showing up to your appointment. And I said, well, what else did it say? He said, well, it says that you quit your job and you didn't tell it. And I explained them to him. And he was like, well, didn't your wife work with you? And I was like, yes, sir, she did. And uh, I told him, like, look. And I told him, I was like, well, look, man. I said, and then he was like, okay. He goes, did you have a chance to tell her? I said, no, sir. I said, I called her on October 11th. She never answered. I left her voice no, She never called back. He said, oh, I see. And that's when he read the paper. He said, well, it says here that you didn't even show up. You didn't call. You didn't do nothing. And I was like, well, uh. So, you know, he told me, he was like, well, if you got that proof in that car, he said, we have a smoking gun to go in there and support. And I can go and tell Ms. Timber, hey, your bond officer got my client mixed up with somebody else, and you locked them up for no reason. And then he said, well, what about, why didn't you make a payment for October? I said, sir, I had the money in my pocket. When I went and seen her, I was going to go straight to the child support place and make a payment. But you guys put me in jail. He said, I don't need to hear no more. I said, okay. The other party has disconnected. Goodbye. After the beat, please say your first and last name. I love and miss you and my kids, my son, mate. Thank you. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. If your call is not connected, you will be offered the option to leave a voicemail. You may hear silence during the acceptance of your call. Please continue to hold. Hello, please hold while we attempt to connect your call. We are attempting to receive acceptance information from your called party. This may take up to two minutes. Please continue to hold. We are attempting to receive acceptance information from your called party. This may take up to two minutes. Please continue to hold. We are attempting to receive acceptance information from your called party. 
This may take up to two minutes. Please continue to hold. We are attempting to receive acceptance information from your called party. This may take up to two minutes. Please continue to hold. We are attempting to receive acceptance information from your called party. This may take up to two minutes. Please continue to hold. We are attempting to receive acceptance information from your called party. This may take up to two minutes. Please continue to hold. Telecommunication services provided by Securus Technologies. For more information on products and services, visit www.securistech.net. Calls are subject to recording and may be monitored. You may start your conversation now. Hello? Hello? Hey, Texas. Huh? Hi, are you, Mimi? What are you doing, Dad? Hold on. Hi. 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 I love you. Oh. Me and I mean, baby, I love you. I love you, Daddy. I love you too, little man. You better stop being good for mommy. You understand me? Okay. Stop fucking stressing mommy out. Be good. Don't get the sister. I throw out that bathroom. Now, no, no, what you mean you can't? How much did they say we had on there, beautiful? How much did they say we had left on there? I don't know. I didn't even check. No, I didn't. I didn't even know. Like, think you was gonna pick it up? I thought you were gonna wait till later. But shit, I'm going to. Yeah, I was going to, but I just wanted to hear you. I love you. I love you too. I miss you. I miss you. Um, can I mail you letters with regular stamps? Um, well, or do they have to be post? Do they have to be post? I mean, pre stamps or whatever that is. I don't know. Um, no, sir. Can my wife mail me a, a letter with a regular stamp stamped on the envelope, or it's got to be pre stamped? What? What's that? Oh. Okay, thank you. The uh, deputy said that your envelope should be a regular envelope with the regular stamp you put on there. Oh, okay. So the one, say if I was to write you a letter and then like the one, like if I was to stick an envelope in there, it would have to be pre stamped? Yes. Okay. Look, I'm going to have sis to come get you. The other party has disconnected. Goodbye. After the beep, please say your first and last name. I love you, my gorgeous soulmate. Miss you. After the beep, please say your first and last name. I love you, my gorgeous soulmate. I miss you. Thank you. You have one dollar and seventy-eight cents. This call will cost twenty-one cents per minute, plus any applicable federal, state, and local taxes. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. You may hear silence during the acceptance of your call. Please continue to hold.
Hello, this is a free call from... Eleven, my sexy soulmate. An inmate at... Medina County Jail. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. To accept this free call, press 1. To refuse this free call, press 2. If you would like to permanently block your number from receiving calls for... Thank you for using... Securus, you may start the conversation now. Hi, my beautiful wife. Hello? Hello, you. I like you. What's the matter? This way. No, I'm just trying to hurry up and make it home so that way the bubble and Mark can go to school. Well, they're lucky <laughs> that the schools ain't closed. Because there's a lot of school no. closings. There's a lot of Cuyahoga school closings on Fox 8. But isn't the um, election warm? No, 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 no. They're just closed because of the weather, babe. Oh, it's nice out. No, I know that. No, I know, but I'm saying there's a lot of Cuyahoga schools already closed for the day. I've been oh. watching it on the news to make sure that the kids' schools ain't closed, but they're still open. Oh, not there. The cross guard was already over there. <laughs> I thought I was Bubba Sisters. Uh, what is it, that lady? Uh, it's on the, um, some black lady. So how many dudes been trying to get with you? Huh? So how many dudes been trying to get with you? None. None whatsoever. I barely did not have. What if they try to? I got a husband. I ain't worried about them. No one will ever get to touch you, taste you, or feel you? Nope. Promise. Nothing. I promise. You know what's, you know what's crazy? Huh? You're the only woman I've ever trusted and believed like that. Well, you better. I know. You're my soulmate. And I love you. And I would do that to my husband. And I would never do that to my wife. That's the case. I wouldn't call you my husband. Amen. I was doing the math. <clears throat> A $5 phone card oh. gets us 23 minutes to talk. You know that? Okay. So just for those days, remember what I told you, I'm going to cash up for during the week. Mm-hmm. If you just for loans, how much money am I putting on you? That's up to you. That's up to you, beautiful. That's heavy. Because I know you kind of get mad at me when I don't buy soups and shit, so that's up to you. Well, I want you to have enough for phone and want you at least have some stuff. You know, your pops or whatever. Okay, well then, if, I mean, it's, it's up to you, beautiful. I just don't want you guys going without because of me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to oh, make sure my family oh, is good. Girl, okay, well then, if you want to sit here and get me phone time, okay, I mean, if you want to put money on my books, that's that's great. Phone <laughs> time compared to, you know, like whatever little odds and ends you need. Well, that's what I'm saying. If I buy it on the kiosk, it's going to be expensive as fuck. But if you want to, like, say, or say, for instance, if that lows today, and you want to put 50 bucks up for me, you know what I'm saying? Or 60 or whatever, you know, whatever you decide, it would be cheaper. You're talking about on your commissary? Right, right. But this is what I'm saying. If you want me to get food, you know what I'm saying, like soups and shit, it would be cheaper for you to order it off the cart online from home. There's a, okay, uh, well, you're going to have to show me how to do that again. All right, well, you're going to have to call Car Car because Car Car knows how to do it. Okay. Because the one that I want, it's called a Quick Pack, babe. Okay? It comes with nine soups. This is what it comes with. It comes with ten singles of coffee, a vocalina, vanilla cappuccino, three chili robins, three picante beef, three chickens, two bags of Cheetos, two bags of nachos, I mean uh, Doritos, two bags of Dorito Cool chips, two bags of potato chips, cheese and butter, uh, cheese and peanut butter crackers, Twix bar, chocolate cupcakes, Kool-Aid, and a thank you postcard. And that's only 21 bucks. And I get soups and chips okay. and I get coffee. And if that's the one, like that's the one I want you to get for me. You know what I'm saying? Like that was the cheapest okay. one I've It's only 21 bucks. You know what I mean? 
And so that's what I'm saying. If you if you want to do that's what I'm saying. If you want to do that, like say for instance, let's say that load and there's you know let's say there's a hundred on there. If you want to put sixty up for me, take the twenty one and order that that eye care package first, and then put the rest on my books out of the sixty. You know what I'm saying? So that would be like almost forty bucks. Okay, so I go to eye care package like I did last time, or eye care pack, or eye care gift. Eye care package, I believe. You have one minute left. I, yeah, I believe it's the eye care package thing. You know, the eye care gifts or whatever, like you said. Uh huh. Hey. My wife goes to yeah, eye care gifts or eye care package dot com. Eye care gifts. You do. They said you go to eye care gifts dot com. Right, that's exactly what I just said. Yeah, go to I. Yep, I'm looking at the paper now. It says iCareGifts.com, and then you got. Do you have any you know, like what number or ID? Does any that one is? No, it just says Quick Pack, baby. I'm looking at the paper oh, now. Quick when you pack? look at the what? Yes, it's called Quick Pack. Yeah. Because what I'm doing when I go to school, I'll just sit there. And go through it, and like I did last time, and see if I remember how I did it. Well, they said you just go to the iCareGifts.com, and it'll walk you through everything. It'll tell you how to do everything. As soon as you go to iCareGifts.com. Thank you for using I love you. Goodbye. After the beep, please say United States. United States. Thank you. You have five dollars and twenty-nine cents. This call will cost three dollars and. 11 cents for the first minute and 36 cents for each additional minute plus any applicable federal, state, and local taxes. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. If your call is not connected, you will be offered the option to leave a voicemail. You may hear silence during the acceptance of your call. Please continue to hold. Hello. This is a free call from I love you, my sexy soulmate. an inmate at Medina County Jail. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. To accept this free call, press 1. To refuse this free call, press 2. If you would like to permanently block, thank you for using Securus. You may start the conversation now. Good morning, my baby soulmate. Good morning. <laughs> my baby tired, uh... Thank you, baby. Just laying there. Yeah. Everybody still sleeping? No, me neither. <laughs> the boobies laying in here watching TV. Love He's you. watching cartoons. Love you too. Yeah, I'm going to let you know so you can lay back down with them. Mm -hmm. Uh huh? No. Guess what? What? Right, you need to stop. Uh oh. She'll go back to the room, though. Mm -hmm. She really didn't wake up at all, all night. Mm hmm. What did you get Huh? Nothing. I said, that's a good thing. She didn't wake up all night. Mm hmm. Well, I got five dollars left on my um, well, six dollars left on my book, so I'm probably gonna buy another phone kind of thing. That way, I can come and talk to you like around one and get off lockdown. Okay, so I still gotta add that on there. All right, it's okay, baby. I mean, whenever you get a chance to, so this way I can call you again later tonight, you know, before then. I love you, gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Yes, you too. That little shit take it on your damn more uh, coffee creamer. Uh -uh. What are you talking about? No, I still got some. <laughs> I love you. I love you. Mm -hmm. Happy Halloween, my sexy queen. Cool. Happy Halloween. Yeah, it could be better. I could be home with you. Mm hmm. You will be soon. I miss you. I miss you. 
Yeah, the chaplain called me. Yeah, this, that was before I, I moved, you know, we had money on the phone yesterday. Mm-hmm. Remember I told you I went to the college prep class? Mm-hmm. Well, Miss Jarvis, Mary Jarvis, I'm a chaplain, another one that you the class. And I didn't know, you know, we had money on the phone yet. So I went, can you just go and tell her I don't know if I check up on her? She's telling us that we go, Miss Jarvis. Yeah, I just called this morning. Uh, yeah, because uh, Mr. Wilburn, uh, a deputy sheriff, and the uh, uh, Ms. Jarvis called. I uh, called his wife, and she said everything was okay, and uh, the kids are okay. And I was like, all right, cool. I forgot I even asked her to call me yesterday. <laughs> I was too excited when I found out you put money out of books. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> County Jail. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. To accept this free call, press 1. To refuse this free call, press 2. If you would like to permanently block your number from receiving calls from this facility, press 6. Thank you for using Securus. You may start the conversation now. Hi, my sexy soulmate. 
Hello. Hello. Hey. Love you. You okay? Mm-hmm. How did the speech go? Uh, it wasn't. It wasn't kids after all. I she lied to us. I hear. I'm thinking you know it's gonna be fucking kids. Here it was a cop and a. No third party calls are allowed. Hello. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It, was, it wasn't even kids. It was a, a, a cop and a firefighter. And I guess they were going through problems with their kids having drugs and stuff like that. And they just wanted to know from mm-hmm. people inside of that doing drugs. And, you know, and I spoke up that time. I said, all I do is smoke weed, so I don't know if I could be really much of a help, except for the fact of, you know, I realize now sitting in here and losing some good jobs because I'm going to get a pass of drug test, you know, the effects it caused on my family. And they were like, you know, wow, you know, it takes a lot for you to step up. And But the class was only supposed to be an hour. It ended up being an hour and a half. We didn't even get to eat lunch when everybody else had lunch. Well, we came back from the class. It was locked down already. What are you doing, beautiful? No, I'm just sitting here. What's the matter, Stacey? None. Talk to me, beautiful. I'm just tired. Alright, that's okay. A little bit tired and bored. Huh? I said a little bit tired and a little bit bored. A little bit bored? (laughs) Yeah. You know what I'm bored when I get home, right? Yeah. Take a guess. What? Take a guess. I don't know. That's a lie. What? You. Me? All of you. Are you kidding? <laughs> There's my smile. <laughs> What's the case doing? I'm playing. I'm not playing. Maybe I deliver me to watch the movie. No, I don't even have the DVD. Yeah. What are you doing? Just sitting there? Yeah, just sitting here. Who's all that? Just you and the little ones? Yeah. You want to try laying them down for a nap, baby? Nah. I just let them play. Lately, they haven't been taking their nap, so... I just let them wear themselves out. What time you guys gonna need to go uh, trick or treating later? It doesn't start till about five thirty, six o'clock. And you get eight? I think it's about eight, eight thirty, something like that. Because uh, I was gonna watch the news earlier. It said uh, six to eight in most cities. So I don't know if that meant Cleveland or what. You know what I mean? Hmm. I've been doing everything I could on here to try to get a hold of my lawyer, but still ain't nothing. It's just pissing me off. Because he ain't even probably going to come see me, and, and I'm not even going to get to talk to him except for, like, right before we walk in. I won't even get to talk to him before court, actually. I'll be handcuffed in the back. So as soon as they say my name, I'm going to get to walk into the court. Well, can't you go back to the door, Chief? I don't know, babe. I, I don't know. Like, I... Sent a couple of kites in to a uh, public center office to try and you know get a hold of him to talk to me, and I, it's like beating my head up against the wall. I can't get no response, and I know he ain't texting you or calling you back, huh? No. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, try to give him a call here. What time does he go on lunch? Um, it all depends, beautiful. You know what I mean? He might. Is he back on lunch? He should be. He might not even be in court today. He might even, you know, because sometimes they have courts in the morning and they don't have nothing in the afternoon. You know what I mean? Yeah. But you can text them. Besides calling them, because that number is his cell phone. Okay. Because when I remember when uh, when I had called him, he had texted me and said, hey, I'm in the middle of the court. I'll call you back. And I texted him and said, okay, my fault. You know, this is Chris Rodriguez. He said, okay, no problem. 
But yeah, he can get that number is his personal cell phone number. Okay. Even if he doesn't answer you, you know. Like, answer, I just sent him a text to say, you know, just a reminder, you know, to go see you. Because he said he had it scheduled in, in his schedule to go and see you. Okay. I, I just really want to know, know, like, go ahead, Oh, no, I was going to go. I just, I guess, I don't know, too. To kind of ease my way, I just want to know if, you know, if, if him and the prosecutor still want to give me probation. You know what I mean? Like, I got no problem doing a probation, baby. Like, not one let me go home to you and the kid. I just want to know if it's still on there. You know what I mean? I don't want to get there and then be like, oh, yeah, we were going to offer you probation, but we're going to go ahead and give you jail time. Because they'll be like, what the fuck? <sighs> Um, I'm I'm going towards. I think they are. They'll give you the probation. What makes you so strong to pick your man? I mean, they got everything they needed from you know the probation. I mean, I don't see why you don't qualify for being on probation. Right. You never been on probation before. No, never. Never. And I mean, the only reason why they locked you up and kept you in this was because they feel you violated the bond officer. So that's why they provoked your uh, your bond. So that's why they kept you in there in so in so sentencing. Well, see, then that means she's lying because she told me that the judge revoked it because I didn't take a drug test and because uh, I wasn't making the full payments like they wanted. And that's why I was like, what? Right, so she told you one thing, and she wrote in her papers something else, because I don't know, or however your brother got your information about your violation, so however she looked it up was totally different than what you said she said. But you gotta, you got to understand, Scotty lies a lot too, okay? Because he can't get into any of the Madonna County Sheriff's fucking records. All it says when I have the sheriff look up my shit, it says contempt of court. That's all it says. If you just look my name up right now, it says I'm incarcerated for contempt of court. Because he said something about violation. So I, I done looked it up, and I know he's in jail. Yeah. You know, Mr. Smartass himself, you know, sarcastic. Yeah. That's why I just left it at that. I said, you know what, I'll leave. You know, I'll keep posted or whatever on what happens on Thursday. But other than that, I haven't even talked to him. Yeah, don't even keep him posted. Just leave him alone. You know what I mean? Just leave him the fuck alone. I'm not. I love I'm you, not, and I appreciate everything you do for me. You're my soulmate. But if he's going to act like that, fuck him. I'm just seeing him or nothing. Because like you said, know what? He's always got a part to say. Right. Like, he's too good, too better. You know what I mean? And it's crazy, mm-hmm. because I've, I've been sitting there thinking about it. Like, if I would have let him get his ass whooped sometimes when we were kids, maybe he wouldn't turn out the way he did. Maybe I wouldn't, you know, turn out the way I did. You know what I mean? Well, that's neither here nor there. Yeah, you just got to let it happen. Just for him to learn. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But like I said, he's I... Better I to fight to yep, yep. Because, because I, he's not I, there to fight your battle. Never, and it's only you. But I asked the sergeants to look up my, you know, my uh, thing, and they were like, well, Rodriguez, you don't have an outdate, and you don't have a bond. And I was like, what? And they were like, you know, they asked me to explain, you know, what happened. And they were like, oh, yeah, all you're in here for is contempt of court. It doesn't say nothing else. I was like, so it don't say nothing else about you no know, payments, drug sales. They were like, no, it just says contempt of court. That's it. You know what I mean? So, you know, that's basically what your, hold on. what your lawyer said was all, all they want is for you to just make your payment, basically. It's for you to have a job and make your payment. So therefore, when you go in front of them on Thursday, you got to let her know, like, look, I got a job, you know, the job that I had was, you know, short of hours, you know, and I was looking for a job, I had job interviews, you know, and then I contacted my cousin, and he said, as soon as I get out of here, I got my job. Well, I'm going to say that a little differently. I'm going to let her know, hey, the job I had, we went from 20 hours a week down to 10 hours a week. I was only making 950. I was putting applications in everywhere, Your Honor. And because I had stopped smoking weed, you know, my drug test was still dirty. 
I even told the PSI that I started okay. not saying all that, but I'm going to let him know. My cousin even took me out here when I was arrested, and he was willing to go in and talk to the bond officer and let her know, hey, he owns his own company. He's starting me off at 13, 14 bucks an hour, you know, and I have more more opportunity to make a better payment for him. I can say that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because, hey, this jail is so fucking cool. It's not even funny, babe. I'm not even playing with you. Not, e- not only that, I bring your modification. You want me to look for your modification paper? Yes, please. I'm gonna look for it. It's probably in this box right here in the uh, hallway. But there, I'm that's the proof. That that huh? Huh? I said I'm gonna even bring that up. Right. You were waiting for your modification that happened in October, and. Now you got it to where you got a job when you come out, and you got it to where you can make your payment monthly. Hell, I can even tell them I can make my full monthly payment. You know what I mean? That's 50 bucks a week, babe. I got no problem right. paying 50 bucks a week. It was just paying 80 to 100 bucks a week. Like, that's taking money out of you and my kids' mouth. I can't do that. You know what I mean? What? And then I'm going to let it be known. Like, nobody on my side of the family... Our side has never met. I'm gonna play it off like we've never met little Chris. Because in reality, we didn't. He spent what a week. You know what I mean? Like my dad died without seeing you. You know what I mean? I'm just gonna let it out there. Let it be known. Like no, I've got other little kids I gotta worry about too. I'm not saying I'm not gonna pay for him, but your honor, she broke up with me. We broke up with each other, and she got married as soon as we broke up to the man that he called daddy. I've asked for a paternity because when he was a child and was denied because I was lied to and I was the dummy that signed the birth certificate. And my lawyer, my lawyer told me, by, if I let him, and this is when I had talked to him on the phone when I was free, you know, at home with you, he said, let me word it, you know, the way I know she won't get offended. He was like, she might even court or uh, order a paternity test. He was like, that child yes, was Courts can order a, a paternity test, and if she and if she denies to show up for that paternity test, she will get contempt of court yep. because you know what? She was ordered by the court to do a paternity test. Yep. Yep. She'll yep. go to jail because yep. she can't do it. And then that, you know what's funny about that is I can file the paperwork immediately for emergency custody because her fiance is it next to kin. I am her mama which is the grandma, don't have them rights. I do. You know what I mean? Right. They go, they go for parents before they do anything for anybody else. Exactly. And if she doesn't show up to the fucking uh, uh, DNA testing, like you said, so if she goes to jail, my paperwork would be in motion, they have to bring little Christine. You know what I mean? And then he's back home with us. Yeah. Ms. Riley, is she sure you can handle a sober husband? Can I? Mm-hmm. Uh-oh, that's a long time to answer that question. I manage it, but yeah, I can do it. No, nah, but that's what I'm telling you, because for me, quitting smoking, since being here, remember how, like, moody I would be for the first couple of days and shit? Shut that off, boo-boo, now! But you remember how, like, I would be moody after I didn't have no weed or nothing for that for the first couple of days, and I would be, it would be hell for you, you know, honestly. Like, I don't have that no more. I don't have the urge to smoke no more. Like, all I'm focused on is being a better husband and soulmate for you and a better dad to my kid. And that's what you have to explain to the court, too. You know, if you haven't smoked, you know, you've been... You have one minute left. How long does your timer on the cell phone say, babe? Um, hold on. It says 14. I love you. It's not going to get up on us. And I'll call you again. Uh, after you guys get back. Huh? You going to call You gonna call me before? I mean, after we just trick or treating? Yes, ma'am. Is that okay? Yes, yeah, that's fine. But I'm still going to trick you. I love you. I love you. Thank you, my love you. Do, I, do you want me to call you right back or just wait? 
Well, trust me. So that way we got minutes to talk later. I never lose you. No, I'm not going nowhere. You promise? I promise. I love you, girl. Thank you for using Securus. Goodbye. You. After the beep, please say United States. United States, good morning. I love you. Thank you. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. If your call is not connected, you will be offered the option to leave a voicemail. You may hear silence during the acceptance of your call. Please continue to hold. Hello, please hold while we attempt to connect your call. We are attempting to receive acceptance information from your called party. This may take up to two minutes. Please continue to hold. We are attempting to receive acceptance information from your called party. This may take up to two minutes. Please continue to hold. We are attempting to receive acceptance information from your called party. This may take up to two minutes. Please continue to hold. We are attempting to receive acceptance information from your called party. This may take up to two minutes. Please continue to hold. We are attempting to receive acceptance information from your called party. This may take up to two minutes. Please continue to hold. We are attempting to receive acceptance information from telecommunication services provided by Securus Technologies. For more information on products and services, visit www.securustech.net. Calls are subject to recording and may be monitored. You may start your conversation now. Good morning, my beautiful wife. Good morning. You okay? Mm. I woke up sick. I don't feel good. What's the matter? My throat's killing me. I got a cough. My chest is burning. <coughs> Why don't you bring down the heater and put it in our room? It is in here. Oh, it's in your room? Or in our room, I mean? Uh huh. Yeah. Well, I'm surprised you answered this morning, but I'm glad you did. You just made my day. <laughs> <laughs> I figured I'd go ahead and talk to you now. Oh, yeah? You didn't want to talk to me later? That's not true. No, we won't be able to talk to you later. I don't know. Hopefully something will come up. You got a party going on tonight, huh? Who? You. I got a party? No. Yeah, yeah a party with the kids. That's why you wanted to get rid of me now, huh? <laughs> That's a lot. I love you. I love you, too. Right. And then Mimi, I ended up giving her her treatment last night. Her breathing treatment. <laughs> she sounds a lot better. Yeah. Well, why don't you take one? Yeah, I need to. I guess try and call Securus and see if they give you that fifteen back. Because we wasn't even on the phone that long. No, but the longer you wait, you know, the less chance they'll give it to you. You know what I mean? Right. Did our car text you back last night or no? No. I think she'll probably text when she get up this morning. But I'm going to resend the messages to her. Just in case. Well, I 
sent your uh, letter out this morning. Yeah. The one that uh, tattoo I want in that. Tati, quit being a crybaby. Oh, my God. Shut his little hyper ass up. Right, both of y'all are supposed to be up here laying down. No, no, I'm just paranoid. Like, I don't want you want? to suffer because of me being in jail. Like, it sucks that we went through all that money because of this stupid ass kiosk machine. You know what I mean? Because I was honestly, like, looking forward to trying to keep the night going. So we had, you know, money to talk over the weekend and, you know, hopefully middle of next week. You know, I was going to suck the whole weekend. I don't get to talk to you. And, like, I don't want you to, you know, spend no more money. Because that's going to be less, less, you know, money for you guys. And I don't want you guys to struggle. Over there. You hear me? Uh-huh. But hopefully, Kara, I think Carol will come through. <laughs> I'm busy. Let me see, please. My chest is literally like burning. That's how mine was, and that's when they found out I had the uh, bronchitis and shit. I think that's the, the little munchkin moving. Uh, Come on! Why you do that stupid shit? Who was it? Give me it now. Get the Boo boo's dumbass. Get out of the bed. You're fucking pissing me off, dude. Who was it? Who was that ass? Yeah. This is fucking take Mimi's bottle. It's got a tiny little bit of juice in it. The one that, you know, is like a spare, you know, that Mar brought up. And took it and just sat there and, like, splashed it. I guess he's waiting for mommy to get the belt and give him that good old ass open he got that one time. <laughs> Trust me, he already has. I don't know. I'm talking about it's going to have to be worse. Because remember that one time you gave him that good ass ass open and he chilled out for a couple of days? <laughs> hmm. It's like that don't even phase him no more neither. Because trust me, this boy's been getting it. <laughs> he's been getting on my nerves. I know, beautiful. I know. I mean, that's, that's what I was sitting there going through every day. Like, I'm tired of him thinking he was you. Well, today, I got Tati in her panties and Boo Boo in his drawers. Because Tati's been going to, straight to the bathroom every time she's got to go. Even before bed, she said, I got to go to the bathroom. And she still had a pull up on And she went to the bathroom. Oh, that's my big girl. So, it's like, you know what? If that's the case, it ain't going to be Big Brother showing her to use the bathroom. She's going to be showing him to use the bathroom. So I put him in his draw. Because every time she wants to go to the bathroom, he wants to go to the bathroom. Yeah, but he's, yeah, I mean, I, I I hope that, you know, the case, I hope it works. But I see Boo Boo just being a lazy little motherfucker. Shut up. Right. Just a lazy little motherfucker. You just came from the bathroom. I don't want to hear it. That's what it boils down to. He's a little goofy ass to do what he want to do. Mm-hmm. I miss you, my sexy soulmate. I miss you, too. And I love you. I love you. And I love you more. You heard Tati? She said, I love you, Dad. Tell my princess I love her, too. Daddy said he loves you, too. Tell Boo Boo if he loved Daddy, he'd be good for Mommy. 
And that one went to the bathroom. Yeah, right. He's just trying to get in there and get into shit. Ain't nobody fucking stupid with his little ass. Right. Oh, yeah, Dada? <laughs> yeah, Mimi. She said, Dada. God, I love her, my angel. Daddy said he loves you. Is that Daddy? <laughs> Dada. <laughs> they don't forget me. They're not going to forget you. You know what I think is funny? You know what I think is funny? Because, listen to this. Uh, somehow, your brother must have looked you up and said, Oh, he got six months, huh? That's what Scotty said. And I, I didn't message him because remember I just said I'll keep him posted, but I never, te- I never messaged. And he's like, oh, Chris got six months, huh? Oh, and I found out how Kathy fucking knew I had court. How? And I was talking to uh, Sergeant Blue. He said that every time uh, you go to court. You know what I mean? I don't know. You know, Cleveland probably don't do it, but he said here in Medina, every time the father or the mother goes to court over child support, the other person that put the child support on him gets a copy of the name. So this bitch got a copy of the modification. She got a copy of my court date. She got a copy of everything. That's how the bitch found out I was there. Hmm, let that bitch try to be funny and try to show up over there for her visitation. I already, had, I already told Boone, I, don't, I was like, hey, if a uh, chick named Kathy Horvath or Kathy Johnson tries to come over here to visit, he said, Mr. Rory, it's all up to you. He said, you have the control. She can't just show up here and say, hey, I want to visit him. He said, you have to put people on the list. The people that you put on the list are the only people that are allowed to come visit you. I said, well, I'm putting, I'm putting her on the list right now. I want her blocked. I don't want her coming up there at all. She said, okay, no problem. They got her name written down and everything. She came up here. What, Mama? I love you, sexy. I love you too, sexy. <laughs> when she was home. Too great, my sexy. But you shouldn't even be in there. Shouldn't even be in there. Nope. Should be at home. I should be in the bed right there with you. Mm-hmm. And I am mentally and emotionally and spiritually. Three out of four ain't bad, right? No, we just gotta we just gotta stay strong. Let these days go by fast. And that's what I'm going to tell you. When I get into uh, worker pop, babe, in the kitchen, I'll be able to chirp you, like, in the morning before I go to work, I think. Because the, the kitchen workers start working, like, 7, 7.30. And I wouldn't get off, you know, work until about 6 in the evening. You know what I mean? Really? Why so long? Because we, like, what, what they do is, like, when you get there at 7 in the morning, you wash off all the trays from breakfast. And then we start cooking lunch. And then we fill the trays up, fill the drinks up, send it out the tray, you know, all the carts to the pods. And then we sit there and eat our lunch in the kitchen. And then when they're done, everybody's done eating in the jail, they bring the pot, uh, the trays back, and we clean the tray. And then we make dinner. And then when we're done with dinner, we send them back, you know, while everybody's eating. They bring the trays back, and then we fill the trays back up with uh, stuff for breakfast the next morning. And then when we're done with that, you know, and the kitchen's all so we to go back to the pot because there's nobody there in the morning to cook breakfast, you know what I mean? We do all that the night before. I mean, that's, it just sucks because I won't be able to chirp you as much as I want to, you know what I mean? But I guess it's kind of a good thing because the days will be going by so fast. And I'll right. be able to save a little bit more money so that way when I do get you know, off of work and get back to the pot, I can call you. 
You know what I mean? And then, like I said, every Wednesday I get a free phone call, and every Saturday I get a free phone call. I don't, I don't know what the fuck's going on, baby. I keep losing weight every day. No matter what I eat, I, I would lose the weight. I'm 229. That's a good thing, though. You wanted to lose weight? No, no, no. I have to think about it. I want, I want me to be the way my wife wants me to be. And if my wife wants her grizzly bear, that's what it is. All I want is to make you happy and keep you happy for the rest of your life. You deserve that. And I'm going to do that. No matter what, no if, ands, or buts. I got to call the doctor's office today and schedule my appointment. Yeah, get uh, get all that information together so that way when I get my furlough re- uh, request form, I can fill it out and send it to Sergeant Bowen, and then, you know, hopefully we can go from there. <laughs> well, all you need is Dr. Sessor and the hospital number, right? That and uh, what time the appointment is and what day it is. You know what I mean? Okay, because you already know Bradley Stetson. That's right. the doctor he is. Right. And then the number is seven seven eight four 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 four. Um, but this way, when they call him, they're going to ask him, hey, is she in high-risk pregnancy? And he's going to say, yeah, every one of her kids have been, just like I said. And then, you know, it'll sound more, you know what I mean? Don't know I'm telling the truth. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because that's my goal. You know, as long as I can get out and make it to the appointments with you and, and get to be able to see you and the kids, even if it is for an hour. Two. You have one minute remaining on your call. You have one minute left. I love you and I hate this shit. I love you too. <laughs> Just, um, whenever you get a chance and you get, you know, get around to it, you know, try to call Securus and I ask am. them if they could put that 15 back on there and ask them why the fuck they won't let you put more money on my account than just 35 bucks, you know? You're right. I'm asking. I'm getting lost. See, what I can do as far as helping up with all call for tonight is thank you if your car card can't come through. All right, I'm going to try to get a hold of... Uh, Car car, see what she say. Because uh, I said I had the message yesterday. Love you, say. We just got to stay strong because, you know, I'm going to see what I can do on my end to see how I can get this money on your account. I love you. You're my soulmate. I love forever. you. Always and forever. Never lose you. Never lose you. After the beep, please say United States. United States. Thank you. You have $8.98. This call will cost $0.21 cents per minute, plus any applicable federal, state, and local taxes. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. You may hear silence during the acceptance of your call. Please continue to hold. Hello, this is a free call from... I love you, my sexy soulmate. An inmate at... Medina County Jail. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. To accept this free call, press 1. To refuse, thank you for using Securus. You may start the conversation now. Hello. come on in my mouth and face. What?
you look, look, I won't be surprised the time when you do get home, you do bust my water. I'm going to. Look, don't get so excited in it. Pop! Uh oh. <laughs> Uh, babe, we got a problem. <laughs> they say, Houston, we have liftoff. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, we'll be, we'll be sitting there the same day you get home, be going right into labor delivery. And you know what? I was just watching a video that just reminded me. I was watching a video on YouTube because I was watching live birth. Mm-hmm. A lady who was uh, going to pick up her husband, which was in the service. He was in a Marine. Yeah. Uh, something like that, the Navy or something. But day of her homecoming, they had the baby. She was having contractions and everything on the way to the airport to go pick up her husband. Mm-hmm. Had contractions and everything. Made a sign sitting there saying, "Not, uh, not a drill. Baby, baby coming." <laughs> and, then, and as soon as they left up out of there from the airport, they were on the way to the labor delivery. Shit, I'd be cool with Bob. <laughs> I'd be okay with Bob. That's a white girl to the labor at home for me. Because I don't mess him up. Come on, you better be checking in with us. You damn mess, okay? I told you about that shit there, Jocelyn. I'm going to have to get up off this phone, son. Yeah, you better keep on walking. You know it's hard this time. <laughs> Rest your fucking neck. That's one of the older dudes. He comes over and fucking with me like, hey, you got the phone with your wife. I'm going to tell you, you better have my package. I said, nigga, do it. Good on my night. Like I tell my kids. <laughs> yeah, I know. So last night he was on the phone with his wife. I said, Jocelyn, if you don't want your ass in your booty hole taken last night, boy, you better have my package in the morning. Well, I guess his wife believed him, bitch. <laughs> he ordered a package for him. <laughs> really? I swear she thought she... Like, we were playing, you know what I mean? He's like, I'm making shit with a big packet. I'm getting a packet for him, too, boy. I need a soup. <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You guys are doing huh? No. <laughs> so, who, so, who got you to get your package? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I just thought, what's your mate in there got you to get your package? No. Yeah, my wife got my package. <laughs> That's why I was sitting there joking with my buddy Jojo. He was like, yeah, when you're on the phone, I'm going to tell you, uh, I'm going to get on the background. Bro, we just put in my fucking package on Monday. I said, my wife ain't going to be shit for life at you, fool. He was like, why? I said, because my wife knows I ain't a bag of thought off of nobody. Nigga, you have to kill me to take mine. He was like, oh. I said, yeah, so you got to move on to the next nigga with that one. That ain't ready with my wife. She going to be like, babe, you better put that phone down and fuck you up. <laughs> So everybody the pot like, oh, well, I think it's a dead kick in his life. <laughs> but I'm about to go pray tomorrow. After I bought that five dollar phone call, after I just called you, it said we're at eight ninety seven. But I'm gonna put the rest of the fifteen on this on the phone. So that way we got you know, I know we got you know money to last until Tuesday or something. Hello soups. Hello fucking motherfucking chips. Still got my coffee, still got my Kool Aid. I made a boxing match, my baby. Holy fuck, that shit had me zinging. I was like, you, 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 you. Reading the Bible, reading my book. Nine of them are. Huh? Nine of them? One of them said, it's about time they all left. There was like eight, no, what was it? Nine of them. Tell Garcia who who she thought you was talking to on the phone. Uh, Dad, Dad said, who did you think I was talking to on the phone? Oh, uh, she said Titi Mari. Tell her that's a lie. You ain't talking to Titi Mari in six months. Who she was protecting? Yeah, I don't talk on the phone with Titi Mari. Or she's been listening to a message. <laughs> but the kids helped me clean up the basement. It really wasn't that dirty, but yeah. You no, the last time I went down there, they took out the metal the metal thing for the bed, and they rampaged it down there. Uh, well, 
<laughs> Johnson come over like he was about to fucking uh, hang up the phone with his finger. <laughs> and I acted like I was about to up and cut him in the phone. He was like, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I love you. The last thing I got to do is wash our blanket upstairs. I just put our, our sheet in the washer. Well, all I know is when I get out of here, whenever the fuck that may be, I'm going to hit press me up. He still got work for me. $15 an hour, I'm taking it. If not, I'm going to get me a fucking good ass job where I got to take this test so I know I ain't shit going to be fucking worried about it. And if it's okay with you, 50 bucks a month is all that bitch is getting for child support. I don't give a fuck. They can't lock me up Yeah, they say something better than nothing. Right. But they didn't say I have Her, Mimi, she said, yeah. Okay, that's my daddy's angel. <laughs> she wants out of there. She wants a martyr to pick her up. She said, Mama, are you inside the house now? Uh, what you doing? They got some nasty-ass fucking, it's called American do right, baby? But it's nasty. That's what I'm about? Yeah. I'm, I'm telling you, I can't wait to get home with you. Uh, Mimi said, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you hear what I said? Huh? I can't wait to get home with you. The what? I said, I can't wait to get home and eat you. Mm. You thought when I got home in July, you was doing that to me? No, I'm throwing you on that day. You'll see. I'm going to do the Scorpio. Get over here. Get her. I don't know. <laughs> Fatality. Flawless victory. <laughs> <laughs> I love, I, love hearing my wife. I love hearing my wife laugh and smile. That's my highlight of my day. I miss that just is to be I miss you. Uh, I got like four letters in one envelope. And the one that I want, uh, that's going to be my tattoo. You should be getting your letters. Hold on. Uh, excuse me, man. Are you guys passing out mail today? Here's the lunch. No, not yet. All right. Okay, ain't no more today? All right. Well, I guess we ain't getting mail today because of the fucking holiday. Mm. That's probably why we didn't get mail either. Yep. But that was yesterday. No, no, no. The businesses celebrate Veterans Day uh, yesterday. But technically, today is actual Veterans Day. If you look on the calendar today... Uh, no wonder the library is not open today. Right, right. Today is actually the Veterans Day. Right, but all those public schools and the, and the courts all and the everything... All the public schools and everything celebrated yesterday. Yes, ma'am. Yep. No wonder Mark goes and says, Mom, we can't even go get you a movie. She said the library is full. <laughs> well, tell her, don't worry about it. Daddy's going to get new carpet put in the house, new furniture, and getting cable put in all the rooms. So we're going to take care of all that. Now that I quit, yeah. I ain't got no urge. Yeah. Mimi said that? Yeah. Let me tell you what she said this morning. I hmm. said, uh, you know, because Tati's not here. So Mimi goes, I put on her little ponytail, you know, to get her hair out, out of her face. And I got her dressed this morning with little sweatpants and the long ones. And she goes, I, the boys went and asked her, where are you going, Mimi? Is it, she said, see, Tati. Aww. She loves her sister, Tati. Right. And then when she talked to get home, all she wanted to do was hug Tati, give her hugs and kisses and everything else. Aww. You want to say hi, Dad? Say hi, Daddy. Go ahead, Daddy. Daddy, 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 I love you. Oh, she looked at the door. What are you doing, Mimi? Get, get Daddy kissy. Mwah. You got Daddy kissy, Mimi? 
Mwah. Dada Benjo, I love you. <laughs> you were dying here, Dada Benji. You gonna be that Benji? He's busy playing with me on the sweater. <laughs> Mimi. 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 Say hi, Mimi Daddy. Say smack, smack, smack. You know she got a back too? Oh, really? Yeah. What it's already out of there. Huh? When did that one come in? I, I just noticed it yesterday. Not even yesterday. Maybe today when I changed the diaper. I seen the little white thing. Uh, it was already like halfway out. I said, wait a minute. No wonder that's probably why she's being cranky and had to run. Well, I know when I get home, I'm going to go to the factories right there at the end of our street. And put a shitload of fucking Mark applications said, in. Mark said, please don't go shopping. Well, of course we're going shopping, baby girl. But daddy got to go get that job first. And the first paycheck, like I told you, you get $200 to go shopping. Mommy, go get $200 so you girls can go out shopping. I don't know. Like, I, I, I had something in mind for Christmas. Mm-hmm. But if you get home, I would be wanting to celebrate Christmas when you get home. Uh, I mean, that's up to you, baby. Unless we do something else, huh? So that's up to you and the baby. But like I told you, when I get home, I will have me a good ass job. Like I said, period. My very first paycheck, I'm taking family out shopping. Whatever the fuck y'all want to get, whatever y'all want to buy, that's going to be my Christmas present to you guys. Seriously. Because now that I can't, you know, now that I can't smoke and I don't want to smoke no more, you remember all the jobs that you told me they were starting off at like 18, 19 bucks an hour and shit, but I have experience in, but I mm-hmm. can't because I needed a drug test, remember? Right. Now I ain't going to worry about that. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, like I said, the, the house is going to look way different when I get home. In 2018, we better make it pop. And this was the last attempt that fucking cat to keep me in trouble and keep me locked up. This was her last attempt. And what I'll get you, we're going to have the last laugh. And it's 50 bucks a month. They can't touch me. They can't touch me. They can't file no charges. They can't do a fucking thing to me. And then she's going to think, oh, well, why is he only paying 50? You need to lock him up. They're going to be like, man, shut the fuck up. He's doing what he's got to do. He's paying 50 bucks a month. He's supposed to pay more, but right now he's, he ain't missing payment. So fuck you. Um, yeah, you see me, I don't like it. It's like ten, eleven dollars. But that's why she it's don't want to switch. That's why she don't want to switch to Cleveland, babe. That's exactly why. Oh, check this out. Uh, come January first, two thousand eighteen. I need you to look this up. Come January first, two thousand eighteen. Ohio passed the law to where you can no longer go to jail ever again over child support. You have one minute left. So later tonight, when we talk, I need you to look that up. It's started January 1st, 2018. It says you can no longer ever go to jail for child support. Because the jail is so fucking full right now. Like, I'm hoping when she gets my motion. They got more worse things happening out here than just child support. I mean, right. They got murderers out here, burglars, kidnappers. I love you, sexy, and I'll call you after we get out of lockdown at 6, okay? It's just so we have fucking one minute left. I love you. I love you, my gorgeous soul, man. Give the baby's kiss for me, and I miss you, guys. I love you, my sexy, I will. And don't ever think I doubt you, okay? I trust you wholeheartedly. Like I told you, you took the place of my mama. You are the queen on top of the pedestal, and you learned it. You hear me? And thank you. I love you. I love you. I'll talk to you a little bit, okay? Thank you for using Securus. Goodbye. After the beep, please say United States. United States. Thank you. You have $3.76. This call will cost 21 cents per minute, plus any applicable federal, state, and local taxes. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. You may hear silence during the acceptance of your call. Please continue to hold.
Hello, this is a free call from... I love you, my sexy soulmate. An inmate at... Medina County Jail. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. To accept this free call, press 1. To refuse this free call, press 2. If you would like to permanently block your number from receiving calls from this facility, press 6. To accept this free call, press 1. To refuse... Thank you for using Securus. You may start the conversation now. I my sexy soulmate. Hello? Hi, beautiful. Hey. What are you doing? I just got back from picking up Tucky. Oh, Fag Boy was late? Huh? Fag Boy was late? Yeah. What's the matter? Was up there was up there and everything and then had a came come back home asked my to be a text or anything because we was just sitting up there. And she said, Oh, uh, something that he would arrive in five minutes and then we had to walk all the way back up there. Well, five minutes, you mean a half hour. You know what I mean? He's right. supposed to be there at seven. That's what I was telling Bubba. Yeah, that's what I was telling Bubba. I'm about to snap, babe. For real. <laughs> yeah, I just learned not everybody got locked out. Only some people. I mean, more than half the pod did, but some people didn't. Like, what the fuck? How is that not fair? Some people didn't. Like right. People. I don't know. I mean, there are some people over here that didn't get locked out, or some people, most of the pod did. But you got locked out. Exactly. That's why I'm, I'm, that's why I'm over here stressed out, like trying to figure out what the fuck. Salty as fuck, man. Like, I'm so mad right now. I got tears about to form, crying, going down my face, seeing red, everything. Mm. I, don't, I don't get it. Like, I, I just. Uh, <sighs> then everybody that got my gown. Huh? I guess it seems like a bunch of favoritism in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, because the ones that didn't are the ones that keep coming back. Like, this is a clubhouse to them. Right. They're familiar faces to them. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, beautiful. That's just like how I sit and say Metro's my second home. That, that's their second home. To them, more likely, that's their first home. Yep. Yep. Oh, shit, that's crazy. The street light just blew out. I've seen a flicker, and then it just went completely out. It says we had 376 at the beginning of this call. And uh, I guess while we're on lockdown, they'll be letting us out at 10 o'clock in the morning. So from 10 to 11.30 is all we get out. For all day? Yep. Wow. Like, I, I don't... I don't know how much more I got left in me. Like I said, you and my kids are my only strength. That's the only thing from keeping me to snap. I'm not playing. Like, I, you, hey, but you just don't understand how fucking pissed off I am right now. I can imagine. I just can imagine. I was just telling my dude, like, man, like, the only thing that keeps me sane in here is talking to my wife and kids. That's it. I don't give a fuck about nothing else. Well, now it's like the fucking jail wants to take that from me. Like, like, for what? Like, so they're only letting you out, what, 11.30? Or at 11 o'clock? No, no. At 10 o'clock tomorrow morning to 11.30 is the only time I'm going to be allowed out of my cubicle. Wow. And you're in there for the rest of the day and night? Yep. That's so good. <sighs> and that's until Tuesday. Yep. Not just Tuesday. Tuesday night at 8 o'clock p.m. is when we're, we're everybody that got LOP is allowed off. I don't get it, man. I don't get it. Like, it just seems like the more and more I keep building myself up, keeping strong, staying strong, and, and 
All I'm doing is, you know what, it's just, it's trying to see how much, you know, like, they can try to get to you. You can't let it get to you. Because, you know what, then that's just going to be another issue, another case. That's all it is. It's just testing you. <clears throat> yeah, but taking away the only thing that's keeping me sane is fucking killing me. Killing me too. Huh? Killing me too. Do you regret getting with me? No. no. Even with all this? Yeah, even with all this. I love you. <laughs> Never expected any of this to happen, but I mean, things happen. But I never lied to you. I always told you the truth, no matter what. And you know that, right? Mm-hmm. Hey, I'm on mucho. Mucho blessings, be blessings. Te amo mucho, mi uh, te amo mucho y reina. Mucho besos y brazos. <laughs> There's my smile. So that means you're, are you still going to be able to send out your letter? Uh, they ain't going to stop me. Like, I don't give a fuck. I'll send that bitch out tomorrow morning right after, right after breakfast. Shut up, Like, I'm so mad. Like, I keep telling myself to go read the Bible, go read the Bible. Like, I don't even want to read the fucking Bible. That's how mad I am. Like, I'm fucking stressed the fuck what out. Like, I keep... You still got paper Huh? You still got paper, right? Yeah. Well, when, when stuff like this happens, you just get that piece of paper and you start writing it. Yes, ma'am. You know, not to get yourself in any trouble or nothing. Just take yourself and just start writing. So I'm going to keep you free. I love you. I love you, too. It's going to suck. I was talking with you to see what you, how, like, how much you can take and how much you can handle. <laughs> <laughs> I know what it is. That hoe is trying to do everything in her power, making deals with the devil to get me and you to break up. And it's not going to happen. And she's going to see that. Problems? She will see that. I promise. She will see that. She's not going to win. I love you. I love you too. Let me shoot me, kid. Let me shoot me. A whole bunch. Huh? You said we miss you a whole bunch. I miss you all to death. So should I even try to talk to the sergeant to, to like, try and appeal this or just fucking let it go? Like, don't make things worse. No, just let it go. Because it ain't going to get no one. Yeah, because the first thing that popped in my head was if she'll say something stupid or a smart ass to me and I'm going to say something, flip the fuck out, and they'll take me to the hole. Right. Let it be. And there you, it's like you have to listen to what they have to say. Or what they tell you you have to do. Whether you like it or not. But that's where they get you because sometimes they'll sit there and try to, you know, come at you the wrong way just to see how your reaction will be. But you don't want a a bad reaction, a negative reaction to come out. Because remember, what the attorney, I mean, yeah, what Barbara already told the judge. You know, you don't think about, you know, some way of how you respond. So your best bit is just to take it, swallow it, and just whatever. 
But just the just because you don't want them to have a negative report to give to the judge. Yeah, but I'm still wondering if, if, if they're even going to tell the judge this, and if this is going to stop me from getting into West Pod. You know what I mean? It just seems like one thing after a fuck another. Huh? But this wasn't your doing. Yeah, I know. I know. So they can't tell the judge, okay, they didn't write you up or nothing. If they wrote you up and stuff like that, then they'll get reported to the judge. But Maybe that's what this had, is. That's what it is. They wrote me up. They gave me a piece of paper, and it says, Chris Rodriguez with my inmate number, loss of privileges, 48 hours, and it has the date and the time of when it starts and when it ends. That's why I'm, like, tripping the fuck out. Okay, but this had nothing to do with you. I know, beautiful. I know. This is where I'm guessing everybody says, oh, well, one bad apple spoils it for the, uh, the whole bunch. But then why ain't everybody but locked out? If the judge has anything to say, okay, why did you lose your privilege, Mr. Rodriguez? And then you sit there and you explain to the judge what had happened. Yeah, somebody made something and we're all getting blamed. But not everybody got blamed for it. You know what I mean? I would say... I would honestly say probably about 80% of the pot is locked out. 20% ain't. And the 20% that ain't are the ones walking around laughing and joking like this is fun to them. But you had nothing to do with this at all. I promise you, babe, on our kids and on our unborn. I promise you, I never did. This is why I'm so mad. Okay, then you know what the best thing to do about this situation right now? Hmm. Write an agreement. I, I know they have to have an agreement in there. Yeah. Well, you know what? You write your own agreement, and somebody has to talk to you about this situation because, you know what, this is it's funny how you feel, how you feel that you didn't get treated right when this all happened. You got to write an agreement in order for them to, you know, to see that. Don't talk to the sergeant or nothing. Just write your agreement, and that agreement goes to them anyway. Then they'll mm-hmm. call you a You have one minute left. Agreement, Mr. Rodriguez, and blah, 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 whatever, whatever. But write your agreement. Don't worry, don't, you know, don't worry it to them, but just do it your way on paper. But just watch you. how you... I, you know, come at I love you. Just said we have one minute, and uh, I don't have no more money for phone time unless you get some tomorrow, beautiful. And I'll chirp you the whole okay. hour and a half for a minute. Huh? We don't have none whatsoever for tomorrow? No, but I'm going to see if the old man will let me get one tomorrow. I'll trade him some soups or something, okay? I'll figure something out to call you tomorrow morning. You hear me? I love you. No, teacher. Sleep with angels on your pillow. I will call you tomorrow, no problem. You hear me? I'm with you. I love you. You hear me? I will call you somehow tomorrow. I love you. Well, if I get anything, you know I'll post it. I know, sexy. I love you, but Thank I will you call you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Love Goodbye. You. After the beep, please say your first and last name. I love you, my gorgeous old man. Thank you. You have eleven dollars and four cents. This call will cost. 21 cents per minute, plus any applicable federal, state, and local taxes. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. You may hear silence during the acceptance of your call. Please continue to hold. Hello, this is a free call from... I love my sexy soulmate. An inmate at... Medina County Jail. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. To accept this free call, press 1. To refuse this free call, press 2. If you, thank you for using... Securus. You may start the conversation now. I love you. I love you. I miss you. What are you doing, Vic? 
trying to take the phone with this right now. I just can't wait to get the fuck out of here, man. Something's got to give. Like, these motherfuckers don't want to let me in West Pies. Which is fucking blowing my mind. <clears throat> so, hopefully, this stupid ass judge gives me fucking, you know, time to, like, get the fuck out of here. They got probation over your head, so go ahead and fuck up, and I'm going to make you come back in the direction. Yeah. I'm praying, you know, because it's about to be holiday time. It's about to get real, real busy. Real, real packed, real quick. Okay, it's going to get packed. Boo what are you doing? Sassy, what, do, what does mommy tell you? Once, you see, once you do get some stuff, right? Yep. Yeah. Because if he's sitting there doing something, he ain't supposed to be doing it. And you sitting there chasing and following him. Right. The fucking one of the sergeants came But then, you know what, when he turns around and smacks you and everything else, then you want to cry. <laughs> right. Fucking, uh... That's your fault. The sergeant came and dropped off the food. Mm-hmm. When there was a couple people that were locked out like me, over the dumb shit, and we told him we want to talk to him, hey, he, you should have seen he didn't even come all the way in the damn pod. He opened the door, pushed the cart full of trays for food in, and ran out that bitch. <laughs> I don't like this motherfucker. Who knows me, uh, my choice. I can get four suits or I can get two suits and two chicks. But he'll do that tomorrow. Oh. Uh, when we're doing, I'll be playing cards with the college junior. He's only like 19. But he's what I always like to be on. Uh, we make a break at the end of the night, you know what I mean? You throw like a bunch of soups and chips and sausages and stuff together. And he owed, he owed uh, somebody a couple of dollars. And uh, well, I, I already seen his books, but I knew he was like, I'm just like, I'm like, what up, man? He was like, don't you feel like what I do? So I was like, I know, bro. Like, don't worry about it, you're cool. I still got a bunch of soups and chips. Mm. My mother would be my mother would be in heaven. I got four bags of jalapeno four bags of jalapeno cheddar, hot chips, and then I got four bags of flaming hot chips. <laughs> she's on a lo- she's on a diet. She's on a losing weight diet. Right. I don't know. She just was drinking water. She was she was she Yeah. She's the one that put herself on the diet? Yeah. Uh, my big girl. I told her she wanted cool it. She said, no, mom, I just want some cold water. Uh, see, and I hope it ain't because she's trying to impress that little boy. You know what I mean? That's one thing I want to, like, get through her head. She don't have to change who she is for anybody. You know what I'm saying? Either they're going to like her for her or they're not going to like her at all. But... But you start mm-hmm. trying to cater to what people want you to be, you know, then you just set yourself up for failure. And that's why I'm honored and proud of that, you know what I mean? I got you the way, you know, like, that day. Like I told you, you didn't have to go change. You didn't have to go, you know, get dressed up and nothing like shit. If I can't accept you the way you are, I don't deserve to be at your best. Just like I said, babe, I'll be right back. Mwah, I go into the store. Quit throwing stuff at me. What was you thinking when I told you that? No, no, I'm just surprised. Why was you surprised? Nah, I never had that. What do you mean? And I don't know if you, I don't know. I wasn't dressed crazy like that. I did expect you to just, you know, accept me for you know, where I was at that time. Cool. So you wasn't expecting me to be like that, huh? Mm-mm. I was you surprised when I told you I was going to throw like I was telling you what I was doing before doing it. 
Yo no me voy a hacer la barata. Because I see you smile and you got a big old cheese smile. I said, that's my name. <laughs> Just like that, that smile right there. <clears throat> <laughs> you know, it makes me laugh out of what we were talking about the other night. I'm thinking, I don't even want to call her your sister. But it was like, oh, he's like, he was his sister so long and he never does the things you do. <laughs> like, what? That's not me or my wife's <laughs> fault. That's your guys' fault. Right. <laughs> my... How about I'm jealous, for, okay? You can keep on hating if you want to. <laughs> Come on, Mimi was watching that. You know, Why are you messing with the DVD player? You know what else I love about that day, too? Mm-hmm. When we went to bed, and I gave you a little push, and you pushed back, I said, uh oh, yep, it's playtime. <laughs> <laughs> There's my sexy smile. And then they said, hey, that nigga can touch it and feel it and hit it like that from the half world. And they said, I got to see what else he's working with. Mm. <laughs> no, you just could have handled the ass and the booty break right there. That's what all it was. Hey, hey, I couldn't. That's why I had to lay claim to it. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna scream for lockdown, right? I'm going to be like, well, we got an emergency. I can't get up right now. See what happened was. You know, my body set up, my day gets talking a certain way, yeah, something happened. <laughs> <laughs> There's my son. No, you heard my son. Down, because you got females up in there. No, hell no, I'll beat the shit out of somebody. They might, they might try to take advantage of you. No, they got me fucked up. I'll punch that bitch in the throat, whoever it is. They pissed off, man. Yeah. All these motherfuckers with the birds to be on it, ain't on it. But the motherfuckers that ain't deserve to be on it, they're, they're out of it. Like, I don't get it. <sighs> Shut up, Chris. Shut up. Give me a remote. This boy is so bad and he's looking for a bruise. You should do me a favor, beautiful, if you get around to him, okay? If you get tired of him, like, it ain't no rush. But one of these days, give Mr. Barbera a call back. Preferably, like, after you get the uh, copy of the proof of uh, pregnancy and all that again. Okay. And ask him to file that motion, another motion for reduced uh, sentence, and tell him that you got a paper you want to fax over to him. So that way he can send it to the judge, you know, and just, even though I got, I have my buddy Mike fill it out for me, the lawyer did, I mean, it hasn't come from my lawyer, it's probably be a little bit better, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And if you don't say well, well I'm not the thing like that was to, uh, you know, it didn't, I mean, I could try to see what he said, but I guess he was trying to tell Kathy, Kathy, uh, Kathy and little Chris had to be the ones to do the letter. Well, yeah, that's if they don't want me in jail no more, you know what I mean? I'm uh, trying to get a reduced sentence. You know what I'm saying? Like, like the motion I just filled out. So that way they could be like, oh, well, he can file the motion. But I looked at her and got the proof from her doctor. This guy's the third. So I was like, wow. You have one minute left. Damn, one minute left. Oh, I'm fucking ready. I'm ready to get this before I'm ready. I don't know if they did. I'm going to call you back at four, okay? At four? <clears throat> That's when we get let out for dinner. Um, I love you. I love you. I know you're bored. I love you. No, 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 it's equal. Mm-hmm. Always and forever. I love you. I can't wait to hold my face in your pussy and start to suck it out again. Hmm. Thank you for using Securus. Goodbye. After the beep, please say United States. 
United States. Thank you. You have twelve dollars and fifty cents. This call will cost twenty one cents per minute. Plus any applicable federal, state, and local taxes. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. Remain your silence during the acceptance of your call. Please continue to hold. Hello, this is a free call from Thomas, an inmate at Medina County Jail. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. To accept this free call, press 1. To refuse this free call, press 2. Thank you for using Securus. You may start the conversation now. Hi, my gorgeous wife. Uh, Hello? Yes. Yeah. I love you. Are you back home? Yeah, okay, I only got like two minutes. I had to beg uh, my buddy, Mr. Wazowski, he's an older gentleman. Uh, he didn't have money, you know, that much on his books, but I told him I only need like two or three minutes to talk to you real quick. Um, but he, he gave me a couple of ideas that works for him. And you got a pen uh -huh. and paper to write down real quick, babe? Um, yeah. I love you, gorgeous. I miss you and the kids. Miss you, miss you too. You okay? Martin, you look down on him? Yeah, I was just doing the kitchen floor. No one tried to get with you there? No. I was talking against Sandy. You know she's going to have to have surgery? Oh, okay. Tell her I'll keep her in my prayers. All right. Uh, Mr. Wazowski, remember how you called Mrs. Fimbler and left a couple of voicemail messages for her uh, her secretary and that, and you got me out with that OR bond? Uh-huh. Well, his wife did the same exact thing. Kept bugging and kept bugging and kept bugging. He's going home next week. She uh -huh. got him back in court. Um, they, she's been granting all his furloughs for him to go to his appointments with his family and stuff like that, but he goes home next week. And then he said it was all because... My wife kept calling Miss Kimber's, you know, uh, secretary, kept bugging her, kept bugging her. And he was, like, not bugging her to the point where it pissed her off. He was, like, but she would call once or twice a week, you know, once on Monday, once on Friday. And eventually he was, like, she got through to him and t pretty much told him. But he told me where well, you're high risk, and Dr. Stetzer has been, you know, the doctor of all our babies. He said for you to try and get a hold of Dr. Stetzer's uh, secretary, and see if they can either, A, fax uh, a copy of the paperwork showing that you are pregnant and you are high risk, or, you know, have it mailed to you, and then you mail it to me. Make a couple copies. Mail one to me and mail one to Mrs. Kimbler, her office. Mm -hmm. He said that way her secretary would get it and give it to Ms. Kimbler and say, hey, look, you know, we have her, doc or her doctor's uh, number right here. This was from his office, this, that, and the third. You know, and Mr. Rodriguez was telling the truth. He was like, and you, while I'm in here, I keep filing motions, you know, to go pretty much go and see her and shit. He was like, bro, it worked for me. So I'm not saying it'll work for you. He was like, but, you know, my wife, you know, she was busting her ass, and she got it to happen. He was, and I was that's what I told him. Like, well, my wife does the same shit. He was like, well, that's all I can tell you, Rodriguez. It worked for me. It may not work for you, and it may work for you. He said, but as long as she can get proof that she's pregnant, that she is high risk, and it comes from her doctor, you know, secretary or his office. You know what I mean? He's like, you got a good mm -hmm. chance. And he was like, and then you got to uh, see if your wife will be, you know, willing to write a couple of letters once a week to Mrs. Kimbler explaining why, you know, you want me home, why you need me at home, you know, you know what I mean, shit like that. Right. I, I know it's a lot, you know, to ask. Well, had it started the letters to her. Huh? Already. I said, I already started the letters to Miss Kimbler, but I'm going to try to get her voicemail like I did last time because I didn't go through her secretary. I got her voicemail. But see, I mean, whatever you got to do, sexy, like that, that's, I don't know how you did that, but that's what's up. Right. But I, I love you. Last time they went, I received the letters today. And you did? The one with the tattoo of the yeah. kids? Uh-huh. Do you like them? Uh -huh. I love you. I love you too. I just wanted to hear your voice, and you know, I, I 
I know whenever you'll get it, I'll get it, you know what I mean? But I just, I hope you don't get aggravated with me chirping. No, never. Okay, sexy, I love you. I'm probably going to send out another letter this week, but uh, you should be getting the postcard I uh, mailed out yesterday. You should be getting that here soon, too. Alrighty. And I thank you for everything. I know this is a lot to ask of you, but I figure if we both, you know, do the combo punch, you doing it and me doing it, you know, you'll have to bring me back in front of her and say, hey, you know what? We got you on probation. Get the fuck out. You fuck up, you're coming back. You know what I mean? And that's pretty much all I can ask for. Right. And not only that, but I see that on the 27th. I'm going to see if you can get me in there to do an ultrasound because I've just been, I don't know if it's been the stress or what, but it's just been painful. Like I've been having like slight contraction, kind of. So uh, it's like, like pain, you know, like. You had that with Mimi or not really, huh? But remember, around this time, I never got none of this because I was supposed to be getting my progesterone shot. Right. My shot that normally started at 16 weeks that I've been taking for the past couple of years. And I'm not on them. I haven't started them. Well, include all that in the letter, too, okay? Huh? I said include all that in the letter to her, too. He said, don't make it like a two- or three-page letter because she'll probably lose interest and shit. Something straight to the point. Right. Well, I love you, Sexy. I got to get off here because I don't want to waste all his money. I'm, you know, I'm fortunate you let me get this. But I love you, Gorgeous, and like I said, I know whenever you get it, I'll have it. So I'll talk to you then, and I'll do what I can in here to get enough more phone time, okay? My buddy JoJo said, keep your head up, beautiful, and he can't wait to get out. So we can all have a barbecue and I can introduce you to him. He said he's keeping you and the kids in the prayers and me in the prayers too. I love you, gorgeous. You Sleep with angels on your pillow and give the baby the kiss for me too, please. Thank you. I love you. Thank you. <laughs> Bye, my sexy soulmate, my one and only wife. Bye, my sexy soulmate, one and only wife. I love you, gorgeous. Love you. Bye, my beautiful wife. Bye, my sexy. Love you. Bye, beautiful. All right, love you. Bye, Bye sexy. Leave your call party a voice message and send a text message to their cell phone with information on how to pay to listen to the voice message. Please press 1. Please record your message after the beep. Your message will not be delivered if you hang up. Press pound when you're finished recording. I love you, my gorgeous soulmate. I'm sorry. I was just worried about you, man, because I know you fucking fell on your back earlier. Damn. Okay, and I know you didn't put me here crap you did, but I didn't do nothing to get here neither. I love you. God bless you, man. Hope you ain't mad at me. And hope you don't leave me. Bye, people. To accept this message and send, please press 1. Thank you for using the voicemail system.